Hello, Richard the Dick Coughlin, triple zero. Now, this video is um, a highly obvious uh, follow-up to the one that I did a couple of days ago on this channel called Investigate Pamela Geller. I knew I was going to probably have to do a follow-up because I could already see uh, what a lot of people were going to say and a lot of people who might jump on the bandwagon with this video. Uh, some people even went to the effort of making a video about it. One of these was Diana Boston, the radical feminist who, uh, no, is, 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 or is, for those who don't know, Diana Boston is Jewish. She's been a Jew for all five minutes. She hasn't got a penis, but if she did, it would, it would be hard for Israel. She cares greatly about, about all things Jewish and Jew related. She's basically, uh, like a lot of people, they, uh, they latched onto the uh, point that my video did have the appearance that, of some sort of conspiracy theory. If, if you think that's what I was suggesting, then no, there's no Zionist conspiracy. There really isn't. And it's kind of funny when people, particularly people who should know better, acu would accuse me of trying to make some sort of there's some Zionist conspiracy behind this. No, Pamela Geller is a Zionist, but she's fundamentally a bigoted whore. Um, that's really enough for me. She's a bitch. And it's more to do with the fact that, and it's nothing to do with a conspiracy, I'm not suggesting she was in with Anders Brevik and she was behind it, or there was some Zionist plot to unleash Anders Brevik onto her. I mean, that makes no sense to me. I mean, if the Zionist, if the Zog machine, the Zionist occupied governments, if the Zionists who control everything, if, if they were out to make themselves look good, why would they pick a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white Christian Zionist to go and kill a load of what why would they do that why would they make themselves look bad in the process i don't get why that would work i think it's funny because two weeks ago i made my video about david duke and before that i'd made a couple of other videos to a guy called last white man standing who was uh, an anti-semite a guy who believed that the jews are taking over have taken over the world and uh, it's funny because during that video all i was getting called was a zog shill or a secret jew and now i've made all these videos about uh, I made this one video about Pamela Geller, or these two videos about Pamela Geller, and now all those same people are going, yeah, if I can do Jew bitch, yeah, and I've got, and all the other people, all these other people, idiots like Diana Boston, a nice little, I mean, you, your teeth are worse than mine, you look like a keyboard's made love to a sledgehammer, darling. And yeah, people calling me an anti I mean, Diana, you really need a new argument other than you're an anti-Semite for anyone who, cri I mean, this wasn't even a criticism of Israel. Or even Jews or Judaism. It was it was simply pointing out the fact that Pamela Gillis' behaviour has been very suspicious, and I think it's, it's it warrants sort of looking into. If you don't care about these um, these seventy six people who died and finding out trying to get justice for who done, if you know if, if if Israel and you know the fact that Pamela Gillis shares so if you if you agree with her, I mean she's 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 a racist Bertha. You know, she believes she believes Barack Obama is a secret Muslim. She really is a horrible, xenophobic, horrid, horrible human being. And if I'm anti-Semitic, anti or I'm some sort, I'm in with these and these Zionist conspiracy people. If that's it, then by supporting her, you're a racist, bigoted, xenophobic, horrid, evil conspiracy nut yourself. Because you're supporting Pamela Geller, clearly. I mean, this is what's funny to me. It's like you've got you've got the people who are going, oh, the Jews are taking over the world. Then you've got the people going, oh, the Muslims are taking over the world. Then you've got these 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 fucking insane male rights activist groups. Not all male rights activists, but some of them who go like, oh, the feminists are taking over the world. And then it, and then you've got the fucking women like Diana Boston who are like, oh, all the men are taking over the world. You know. I mean, I think it's funny. The thing about you, Diana. If I was to assert that there is a Jew, a global Jewish conspiracy. And that the Jews who are, you know, in positions of power in government and within corporations and media, that they were all working together, as was written in the, you know, the ridiculous protocols of the Elders of Zion. If I said that, you'd call me an anti-Semite, probably, and rightly so. But the funny thing is, you would make that same conspiracy theory yourself, Diana, except for you, it's not that they're Jews that makes them all working together to oppress everyone, it's that they're men. They just happen to be, they're just men who happen to be Jewish. That's what's funny. That's what's funny about you calling anyone uh, an anti-Semite or anti because you, you think the same conspiracy theory is happening just for a completely different reason. Israel, Palestine, it's not an issue I get involved in as much. I'm more interested in... I understand there are genuine critics of Israel and Zionism out there. I also understand there are genuine critics of Islam and Muslims out there. And that you'll notice that those people who are those genuine critics are not any issue of mine. I don't consider David Duke 
to be a genuine critic of Israel, a genuine critic of Israel, I think he's an anti-Semitic racist who's using Israel to try and cover and legitimise what his beliefs actually are. Um, the same way I don't consider a Gert Wilders a genuine critic of Islam, I think he's a bigot and a xenophobe, and he's just trying to use Islam to try and you know push his anti-immigration policies. That's it. And it's just, it goes with lots of other people as well. Based in the last two weeks alone, I am apparently an anti-Semitic Zionist uh, shill. And I really wish you lot would all get something, this thing, what's it called? Oh yeah, an actual argument. Get an argument that involves a little bit more than just calling people names. Because um, you won't get you anywhere. I mean, call people names by all means, but get, get something beyond that. Now, Diana, you can make your, you'll probably, you'll probably go and put your ratings on disabled and put your comments on, and then you'll make a video whining about how you were picked on by poor me, and then you'll, well, you'll make a video saying about how I'm obsessed with you because I made this one video, um, and yeah, you'll just whine and cry like you normally do, and then you'll go on, and everything will carry on, and you'll go back to irrelevance, and you can sit there, possibly, you know, having Skype sex with Sardonic Skeptic once he moves his gut out of the way to find his dick. I hope this has been entertaining for you all. Uh, this will be the last on the subject. I, I don't consider uh, any any fallout from this. I honestly don't care. Uh, Richard Zitkoff and Triple Zero Economic.